What's up guys, welcome to today's Sunday tutorial. Today's tutorial is a pretty famous effect called the Dolly Zoom or Vertigo effect. If you watch movies like Vertigo or The Goodfellas, you will see this effect. And the nice thing is you can do it in the post-production without using a dolly or a zoom and dolly or a pretty expensive camera system. So let's jump into LumaFusion. So here we are. We have a uh, drone clip and I'm moving back from the object I have filmed, in this case the tree. So what you need to do this effect is a scene where you are holding a camera and you're moving pretty stable. So you should use a drone or a gimbal to film it and you should move in one direction. So in this case backward. But it also works when you are moving forward. Let's start. I gave this uh, clip a little color grading. This was the original one and this is the color graded version. I think it looks a bit better. Then go to frame and fit. And yes, as you can see, I uh, managed to change the language of LumaFusion into English, so I think that fits better to my channel language, which is of course English. Now, go to frame and fit and size and position. Then add a keyframe at the plus at the bottom and now what you can do is you are setting a grid or what, what's pretty easier, you are looking at the size of the object in the center, so in this case the tree. So it has about the size of one third of the image. Let's go to the last frame, add a keyframe and now zoom in by changing the size, as you can see, until the tree has again about one third. It doesn't matter if it's a bit smaller or a bit bigger, it just has to be nearly the same size than before. In this case, we're zooming in to about 200. Now, as we are zooming in, I would recommend filming in 4K because you're losing quality while zooming digital, of course. So in this case, I'm zooming in 200%, which means the final image has only the resolution of 1080 now, which is totally fine because if you're watching 4K or 1080p videos, you won't see a big difference. But what you will see is the nice effect. So, and that's pretty much it. Let's look at the final result. And as you can see, we have this nice vertical effect. So simple, so cool. Just use it in your next travel video. Okay. I want to show you that it works as well if you're moving towards a object. So in this case, I move backwards from my object but I just delete the keyframes to show you. Jump back to 100, delete the keyframes, delete this keyframe and return the clip. So go to edit, speed and reverse. You can of course use the vertical effect uh, while you're shooting a person or a animal or whatever. It just gives the, the viewer a nice feeling about the scene and raises the dramaticness of it. Okay, now it's reverse. As you can see, I'm moving towards the tree. What we have to do now is pretty similar, but of course the reverse, yeah. Set a keyframe at the first frame and then go to the last frame. As you can see, of course, the tree is uh, one third of the size. Now jump back to the first frame 
and zoom in to about 200% in this case. Okay, and what we have now is a reverse vertigo effect. So we are flying towards the object or moving towards the object and the, the background becomes wider and wider. In the other case, we are moving away from the object and the background uh, becomes narrower and narrower. So this is it with the vertigo effect. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you will use it because I think it's a nice thing. Just a quick interruption, my dog came to visit me. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And see each other next time, guys. Bye.